I know exactly what it is that I need to understand uh, to be able to make a decision to go forward or not. And many of these exhibitors are there for the first time or they've not done a lot of trade shows. And they're going on and on and on about grandma and how, you know, they stirred the pot together and whatever. I'm saying, no, no, that's, you know. Okay, family recipe. Next, next, next. Because I need to get as much information as I can. Um, so, so that's, that's an important piece. And I, I quite frankly, I didn't, I didn't probe on that. But, um, I was just interested. In sure, this is made from lettuce. I mean, like, what's, what's, you know, it's certainly different than a ready to drink tea because they bottle it. It's ready to drink lettuce. It doesn't taste bad, but, you know, it's not the first thing I would grab in the, in the cooler case. So, so it was kind of a pass for me. It was just, you know, a freaking interest. Well, I'm reminded of better than a kick in the head. That was, yes. that, I think it was Mike's Hard Lemonade or something like that. It, yes. I, mm -hmm. And so, <laughs> lettuce tea, it'll build character. <laughs> the taste that will build character. <laughs> because I, I, I've been telling um, people, you know, I, I usually choose... Uh, it was this couple I was talking to, this um, 20 something um, male and female I was talking with who I was very impressed with their um, use of books, you know, and sharing book titles. Um, and they, they told about how they have gradually learned how to eat more better because there are consequences to what you eat. You know, they figured this out now that they're cooking for themselves. And um, I, I just said, well, yeah, you, sometimes you just have to eat broccoli. And I said, oh, no, 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 no. You have to wait until your body tells you that it needs it. And I said, I don't listen to that. I just eat it. Yeah, but what if you don't, you, you don't really want to eat broccoli? I say, well, it's a temporary hardship, and you postpone and delay um, uh, uh, gratification. You know, you don't have dessert every night. You know, it's like, wow, what kind of high school did you go to? <laughs> and I said, well, if it's raining, you go out anyway. I mean, come on. How else do you get your expedition points? <laughs> it's, it's not a question. It's, there's not an option. You're going on the X. <laughs> We had a, a, a guest over Thanksgiving, or actually immediately past Thanksgiving, at Nagel alum, uh, who was there at the same time as I was. So I think he was there 68, maybe 72, so he stayed on a couple of years uh, after I'd left. But um, he is a Canadian, John Glandy, his name, and he is one of the world's authorities on environmental art, or earth art. Hmm. published many books, uh, curated many shows, travels all over the world. Um, his, one of his books was just nominated The People's Choice in Korea. And I said, well, what does that mean, John? I said, it's automatically placed in every library in Korea. Wow. So, so anyway, we had a great time, yeah, just a couple of days, um, chatting and so forth, and uh, just... Wonderful. We just like picked up. I hadn't seen him in forty. We calculated like at least forty years, maybe longer. Uh, but it was one of those Aikwal um, kind of incidents or coincidences where, uh, you know, these friendships just you know pick up immediately, like it was yesterday. It just didn't sink on so many different issues and areas. But what I found particularly interesting is again he has a different orbit of Aikwal friends, some of whom. I know, but not as necessary, you know, a friend, friend. Um, and, and similarly, you're saying, oh, I hadn't thought of that person in such a long time, you know, what happened, and so forth. Uh, so it was really a very enjoyable few days um, together. And, uh, you know, uh, he, he said, actually, because I said, because he said, well, when did you go? He said, I haven't been back to April since I left in 72. I said, well, you definitely should go back. Um, but he said, 
said, you know what? He said, I sent them a full set of all of my books, all my published books. They said, I didn't even get an acknowledgement yet a letter for a thank you note. And he said, I'm still kind of pissed off about it. And I said, well, I would be too. I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed to hear you say that. Well, but I mean, that's exactly why he should go back because, it, and it, it, it it's the alumni letting the administration know that this is not the kind of attitude that would have happened back in 72. There would have been a thank you note. I don't think so. Mrs. Watts would have, um, she was running the library. She would have handwritten a note. Yeah. Yeah, he said, oh, I wasn't expecting a diploma or anything, but just like an acknowledgement or, or, or something. And he said, I am assuming that they're in the library, but, uh, you know, I was so much honor, obviously. That needs to be redressed. Oh, no, 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 no. I said, no, no, yeah, definitely, you know. Because here, here you are, you're a great resource for the school, you know. I mean, you're the kind of ambassador that would that, that we want and that should be out there saying, you know, like, this is where... Yeah, he's a terrific writer, by the way. He's very, very interesting. And, um, 